Alrighty, well, hi everybody, and it's cast time once again. And let me go ahead and intro this real quick. Um, this is going to be Second Sun, a planetary movement. Um, this is uh, basically a diamond in the rough album right here. Um, just a lot of uh, just doing a huge search, you know, all the albums that keep popping up in my YouTube recommendations. Um, they're either, it's music either that was getting on my nerves because it was too noisy. Uh, dungeon synth comes to mind. It's what happens when when they lean he more heavily towards the synth part of the dungeon synth and not the dungeon part. So you just get, I think I said this in yesterday's cast too, it's like, it's almost like fucking prog rock where it's just, it's keyboard Olympics or synthesizer Olympics, I should say. So not really useful in a cast setting. Um, or... For uh, other music that actually would be a great fit for this for a cast video, it's copyrighted. So it's like six of one, half a dozen of the other. So finally, um, I found some music that was both both you know cool to listen to, and that's not copyrighted. So about freaking time. Um, I think there was something else I was wanting to say about that too. I can't remember what. Uh, but otherwise, let me go ahead and go ahead and rewind her back. Okay, so so to start with, um, I forgot to mention this in yesterday's cast, but uh, during my pinball stream, um, I hurt my thumb. I've had this kind of thing happen before, like um. Like at work, or you know, just from all the from all the gaming I do, um, just streaming pinball. Um, I tend to squeeze pretty hard on the controller when playing that. Um, well, eventually, uh, at, I got about halfway in that stream. I'm like, oh shit! Oh, you know, the thumb was like all hurting and stuff. So, but like I said, I've had it happen before at work. Just you know, holding you know. Hold, you know, holding on to heavy cases with one hand and stuff like that. It, you know, just squeezing and pressing too hard. Just, it's kind of, it's basically a stress injury. So, because of that, uh, for today's stream, I, I just, uh, I played games that were basically mouse only, that didn't require a keyboard. So, Idle Champions being one of them. Just, um... I think I played it for about an hour and a half. Um, everything seemed to go okay. Um, then after that, I had a sudden brainstorm that uh, Bloons Tower Defense 6 was another game that uh, that is, it's mouse only. So I fired it up, and also like, and as is as is usually the case when I stream that game, I get a fair amount of viewers popping on, want pop or popping up, want to do co-op with me. So. Um, so yeah, uh, pretty much Mr. Popular on there. I uh, just started doing some uh, doing some co-op uh, co maps. Um, one of them was a big time boss map, and um, and it's it's always been one big drawback of uh, streaming this game. It's actually one of my favorite games to stream, but the problem is is uh, the combination of me streaming and it, get, getting to a, an advanced part of a map where there's so much on the screen, um, so many towers on there, so many, you know, so many balloons you have to blow up, and it just, you know, so much, uh, so many, so much calculations that has to go on, so much animation, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, it pretty much becomes a slideshow. So my computer pretty much can't handle all the action going on at once. And remember too, I'm streaming, so. A good chunk of my CPU and GPU, and, and I got looking at some. Okay, it's still going. It's still. Yeah, some. My um, YouTube has a habit of uh, freezing, like around the one minute mark. So oftentimes I have to stop and check whenever I hear silence. I gotta check and make sure that uh, YouTube didn't freeze up on me. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea. So anyway, like, 
So, quick and brief recap. Um, a day or two ago, I hurt my I hurt my right thumb. So, I hurt my right thumb streaming pinball. So, this time around, I I was trying to stick to mouse only games. So, but like I said, um, but it got to be around my cutoff period for for streaming, and I just went ahead and called it good. But like I said, if not for the fact that I don't have a I don't have a powerful enough computer to to stream the yeah, to stream Bloons uh, Tower Defense Six without going fucking nuts because of all the animation and stuff going on, I'd actually be streaming it more often because it's almost like pinball. A fair amount of people actually enjoy that game, and it's it's a total a complete surprise too. Because when I first started streaming that game, I figured nobody would have shown up. You know, kind of like uh, Idle Champs and various other games. You know, it's just I would I would have thought that they'd be pretty popular games, but most people don't care for them. So, I mean, Idle Champs is totally understandable. I mean, it's an idle game. So yeah, it can get it can get pretty boring, you know. But again, uh, you know, Bloons Tower Defense Six. I, I I figured there's a there's kind of an idle aspect to it. Like uh, once you you know got your tower set up and you're at a point where where you don't have to you don't have to lay down any more towers, you know, stuff like that. A lot of lots of downtime in that game. I figured that game would have been a ghost town too, but no. Um, almost every, most every time that I start streaming it, um, at some point, I get viewers popping up. Hey, want to do a co-op? Or, hey, can I play with you? You know, that kind of thing. So, yeah, it threw me for a loop. But again, it, the computer I have, though, it's not, it's not powerful enough to be able to handle all that. Otherwise, I'd probably stream in that game a lot more often. Because, like I said, in terms of, uh, in terms of popularity, um, I mean, that game there is probably, I want to say, second only to pinball. I actually get a fair amount of people on there. Oh, and, um, I did, uh, I, I, I lost my train of thought. Hold on. Oh, yeah, but, uh, after the, after the stream, um, at some point later, I, um, I started playing some Gems of War, um, pretty much business as usual on there, uh, just, uh, played it for about 15 or so minutes, uh, did some PvP battles, so, just doing some maintenance on that, and then, um, later on in the evening, I just decided to go ahead and take the plunge, and, uh, I, uh, played fired up some Capcom fighting collection thinking it was going to crash. As you see, that's something that's something else that factors in too. Um, FX3 and um, DX11 Pinball Arcade, they both crash now. Well, And if they crash, then lots of other games that I normally like playing will crash as well. So, but again, since I'm going to have to take a break from pinball for a while until my, uh, my thumbs healed up, uh, I just... Kind of want to want to fire something, else, play something else. So I thought I'd try a Capcom Fighting Collection. Um, and in case anyone wants to ask, well, would that game hurt your thumb too? Probably not. Uh, mostly because I, it's kind of hard for me to explain here. But when I when I when I play pinball, I'm holding and using the controller totally different than um than the way I would uh, hold the controller and play Capcom Fighting Collection. I'm using my thumb for different things. Um, for playing pinball, I'm basically using my... Uh, here, I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to unplug the controller. I'm going to kind of... You won't be able to see this, but I'm... I'm, uh, I'm pretending to use it. But when I'm, when I'm playing pinball, I tend to... If you can visualize the right analog stick... I'm usually, I'm squeezing that and the R2 button. I'm squeezing that pretty hard. Pretty hard when playing pinball, you know. Ball screaming down towards my right player. I gotta grab that sucker. You know, I gotta grab that ball. You know, and just, you know, or 
if it's a reflex play, you know, like if the ball is just scorching down the table, you know, right, you know, right flipper, you know. So, like I say, it's it's mostly a strong squeezing motion on the controller, and it's also why this blue one that I'm holding right now that I've been playing with for a long time, um, it's actually starting to crack. Sometimes if I squeeze really hard, I can uh, kind of feel it split a little bit. But that's why. So, but for a Capcom Fighting Collection, um, when I play it, I'm basically using my, I'm using my thumb for the X and the square button. So, I'm, I'm not really, I'm not really squeezing with the thumb at all. So, like I said, like I said, with, with those two games, I hold and use the controller totally different. So, Capcom Fighting Collection doesn't hurt my thumb the way, uh, the way pinball does. So, anyway, um, rewinding back, um, fired up, uh, so, fired it up, um, didn't crash, uh, so, play some Vampire Savior, um, did my usual random select, got, um, got Lord Raptor, probably my favorite character in the game, um, but like usual, I get past the first battle, but almost never past the second one. Um, I think um, but this time around, I lost due to a due to timeout or time was up, and uh, my opponent had uh, more health than I did, or she had more more lives and or health than I did, and I ended up losing. And uh, not a moment too soon because right after I backed out of the moment I backed out of the game, the game crashed. So I got lucky. But otherwise, that's otherwise um, that's that on that, and most of my uh, other evening was just spent putting this uh, was spent on uh, getting this cast together. So and um and then um another thing I did and um and this is something that I just remembered to do at the last minute. Otherwise, it was gonna be a super short cast. Um another um another YouTube channel or I don't want to say YouTube channel per se, but uh, um, a bunch of videos from a channel called Accented Cinema came, popped up. Um, I don't remember the title of it. Um, oh god, I wish I knew what it was. But it, it, for those that don't know, Accented Cinema, it's a channel about uh, Chinese movies and stuff. Um, you know, Chinese cinema, the way Chinese people are are portrayed in media and stuff like that. So, but yeah, I just um, I started watching videos like a fiend on that because one, one I very much appreciate this. But you know the, I mean the guy that runs the channel, as you'd probably expect, he's Chinese, so he's he's not a he's not American. But unlike a lot of other 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 foreign um. Uh, Foreign content creators, he actually works with you. Like, no, English is not his first language, so he talks so he can understand you. Oh, he he speaks very slowly, and clearly, so you can understand what he's trying to say. That's not something that I can say for a lot of other other foreign content creators. I mean, they still speak like I thought them might now. You can't understand and tell what they say. I, well, I'm a, bird, I'm a bird probably so like this too. Like, you know, they could just talk like a thousand miles an hour. Like, they just talk like they normally do it. Normally do it in all native country. But, you know, Americans like myself, well, I have no idea what the hell I do. What do I tell you? You know, it just, you know, you know, and if I have to turn on the, su if I have to turn on the subtitles to, to understand you, yeah, that's a problem. But like I said, this is one of those rare, rare foreign content creators who's, who speaks really well. Again, he, he tries to talk so us American folk can understand him. So, but like like I said, he's he 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 talks about a wide different variety of uh, Chinese stuff, mostly media related, uh, especially movies. But yeah, I've just been um just been watching quite a few of uh, 
watching quite a few of his videos. Um. Oh, second thing too. Um, and I I kind of appreciate this too, although it does get annoying at times. Um. Recent videos that I've been watching. They um they also do this, but. It's where they have to. They're constantly mentioning the source material on all the visuals that they post up. And a lot of times, uh, when it's totally necessary, and, and I have to look at something. Okay, so it's just. It's just going into the next song. Like I said, I'm still a little paranoid whenever I don't hear anything. I keep thinking that YouTube froze up. So, but yeah, anyway, um, but he would, uh, but he would have mentioned source material on uh, all the movies, you know, on all, all the movies, and I think he does it for some of the, you know, actors and actresses and stuff like that, you know, annotations, I think that's what it's called, annotations, but yeah, he, he'll, um, he'll show those for all the movies and stuff, and a lot of times it really helps, because, Otherwise, I wouldn't know what movie he's he's uh, showing. I mean, especially like the old, and that that's that's another thing I like about it too. He um he doesn't just he doesn't just use memes as visuals. He does, doesn't just use popular you know popular visuals, popular gifs, you know things that are trending these days, like a lot of these other content creators do. Like he's like he's called I mean he's called old school on some of this. Like he pulls up like old old black and white blind samurai type movies, you know. I mean like I said, he goes old school. But on time better even better, he's actually you know, he's actually showing what movie he got this from. Or what the movie is, or what the commercial is, or who this actor or actress is, you know, that kind of stuff. So again, this this really helps me out. I mean, a good chunk of the time some of these uh, other content creators that I look, that I watch, I'm up and left in the dark, you know. Some of the visuals and gifts, etc. I, you know, some of it actually looks pretty cool, you know. I like to, you know, I like to know what that is, or I like to know what mov what movie that clip's from, you know, that kind of stuff. You know, but oftentimes they don't. So I'm gonna take another drink here. You know, and in fact, probably, um, after this cast is over, I might actually, um, look into some of the old, old Kung Fu flicks that he was showing on some of his videos. They look pretty cool. So, but like I said, if, if he hadn't have, in the, if he hadn't have shown the titles of all these movies, I probably wouldn't have given two shits about it. So, again, this is a guy that really works with you. Um... I think there's something else I was wanting to say about it too. Oh, and um, in case I didn't mention this earlier, but uh, he does strike me as um, as a Chinaman who who knows English. Like he's not a, I don't think he's a Native American. I think, but he's like I said, he's he's a Native Chinaman who speak who who speaks English. So a lot of his videos are centered around again, um, you know, portrayals of China in media, um, like, like why the why China was so interested in the movie Kung Fu Panda, I think was one of them. Um, why uh, why crazy or why Crazy Rich Asians was such a bad movie, and yeah, I. He, I actually tried watch. Out of curiosity, I tried watching a movie clip from that movie. I couldn't do it. I got within about a minute or two of that movie clip. I'm like, uh, no, 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 thanks. So, oh, don't want the thumb. I was gonna reach over and grab my mouse and the middle joint of my right thumb just kinda went ow. So 
Um, but... But it looks like, going forward, um... I'm thinking it's probably probably gonna be an, or as far as a uh, stream streaming goes, I'm thinking it's gonna be another rinse and repeat. Um, I'll probably I'll probably stream Idol Champs and or Bloons Tower Defense Six again. Uh, but don't quote me on that, but that's it. Looks like that's what what's gonna be going forward. Cause um, I I think I said this earlier, but my thumb's healing up, but it's still not completely recovered. So, I might go ahead and do tomorrow kind of what I did last week when I went ahead and uh, I called in on Wednesday after I really after I really hurt my back on Sunday just for that extra day of rest. I might just go ahead and do the same thing tomorrow and just go ahead and stream stream uh, games that uh, that are mouse only that don't require me to use the uh, controller. So, but again, we'll see come tomorrow. Uh, but otherwise, uh, that'll do her. Um, I believe I've said all the things that I wanted to say today, so I'll just go ahead and call it good. But uh, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, I should be able to make another one of these tomorrow. So, Oh, and um, I'll also, I need to mention... I... This, may or is rel this may, or may, or may or may not be relevant... But um, tomorrow morning, um, they're shutting off the water main in my apartment, or I, I think probably, probably, probably our whole entire city block, or our whole entire block, our whole neighborhood. They're shutting off the water main because they're um, I forgot to mention this yesterday, but they've they've shut down the thrift store that was right behind the apartment complex where I live. It was been a part of my life for many years, uh, but yeah, they're they're tearing it down, and they're replacing that area with a a stormwater ditch. It's basically going to be this big, humongous hole in the side of the road. Well, they're shutting off the water main because they're doing, they're they're doing some kind of waterworks over in this where this thrift store once was. So, so for a good chunk of the morning, part of the afternoon. We're not going to have any water. Um, as, as relevant as this might, as this may or may not be, I just felt the need to get it out. Like I'm thinking maybe they might have royally fucked up and I'll have no water tomorrow or something like that. I don't know. But like I said, I just, I felt the need to say that. So, yeah, but otherwise, once again, um, I should be, I should be able to make another one of these tomorrow. So, yeah. But until then, though, everybody... Take care, and I'll see you all next time. Bye now.